Hello everyone and welcome. I am Kevin van der Kooi, also known as Rotterdam, and this is Rotty's match to look forward to. We are entering week number seven already. That means from now on, every single best of three is oh so important. If you have a negative record, you're on the verge of elimination. While on the other side, wild cards are up for grabs. And for a very few, the players are still in reach. Now MC is normally one of those guys that you look at at the start of the season and you say, all right, MC, see you in the playoffs. And however, after a surprising loss last week against Liquid Chef, suddenly the playoffs are quite far away for MC. Now I have to say though, if anything is still possible in one division, it has to be in division number four, where everything is so close together. And this is why I decided to go for MC versus Torzain as match of the week. While MC still controls his own fate as he currently has three wins and two losses in division number four, Torzain still has to fear for his life in the league. Torzain is in the bottom of the division with a one to four record and surprisingly lost last week against fellow Swede Dignitas Bishu. Let's take a small look at Torzen's history within the North American Star League. Torzen won the Season 2 Open Qualifier, which meant he was allowed to participate at the offline finals. Torzen sure as hell grabbed that opportunity with both hands as he took out two of the strongest foreigners in the scene back then, e.g. the Muslim and former Mouse Moro, uh, in convincing fashion. After that, he would continue to fall to e.g. Puma and Sen, but still, it was a really impressive performance by Torzen, finishing fourth in his first season in the NESL. Season 3 didn't go all that well for Torzen as he finished the regular season with a 4-4 record. He did qualify for the wildcards and in those wildcards he played a fantastic series against Red and lost in nail-biting fashion with a 3-2 score. Now despite not making it very far, he still showed us what Torzen is really capable of if he's playing well. Season 4 on the other end has been an incredible rough path for him so far. He's currently 1-4 with losses against Ryong, Vibe, Targa and last week Bishu. He did manage to beat Wang Xin in week number one, and that might be something to hold on to. But then again, Wang Xin ain't MC. One way or the other, Torzen is going to need a win over MC. If Torzen would lose, he would be 1-5 in the North American Star League. Who out there would have ever, ever predicted that Torzen would go 1-5? And from that point on, there's almost no return. He's going to need to beat MC, but he's also going to face a super eager MC. MC can still potentially finish first in this division, but he knows what he has to do. He's going to have to win all the remaining matches of this season. And what better way to start for MC than against Torzen? Of course, we all remember that legendary class they had in the TSL 3 quarterfinals, where Torzen took out MC with a 3-2 score in a fantastic series. Since that day, they played a lot against each other. MLG's Homestory Cup and Iron Squid. The overall score is 10 to 8 in favor of MC. It's an edge, but a minor one. And that shows as well, because whenever these two guys play, it's always close and exciting. Now, this is a great match in any regard, but knowing what this will do to the division makes it extra juicy for me. I'm ready for a foreigner versus Korean classic. Hopefully, you guys are too. Saturday, 27th of October, 6 p.m. Pacific. Don't miss it. See ya.